Hey guys, so for my Scarlet Leopard design, we're gonna start out how I always do with a uh, sanded, cleaned, and spray painted cup. The colors for this cup will all be listed in the description box below. Um, and right now I'm just applying less than one milliliter of epoxy and then we'll get our glitters on there. The way that I'm applying the glitters for this design is not much different than I do in any of my other tutorials. So we're just gonna speed right through this part. So here I'm just taking like a dental pick and moving any kind of chunky chunky pieces out of the way that I don't, like if I went a little too far up with the chunky, then I'll just kind of push it down while I have the opportunity to do so with one of these little dental pick tools. All right, so here we're gonna paint on the rosettes for our leopard spots. Um, I'm just using plain Mod Podge for this in an angled brush. And all you're really doing is just kind of like pouncing the spots in random places. Try not to make the pattern too perfect. That's one thing that I really struggle with. I mean, you're just gonna go all the way around the cup in the gold section exactly like this. All right, now we're gonna start painting the black parts of our spots. I already went over this process in a lot of detail in my Gypsy Leopard video, so if you wanted more direction on how to paint the spots, I would recommend watching that video, which I will link above and also in the description box.
All right, so here we have our cup with the spots all dry, everything's dry. Uh, we did spray seal this twice with Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray. I will have that link down in the description box. Um, you only need one generous coat um, with that kind of spray. Personally, I think that's really all that you need. Um, before you spray seal this, you want to tap off all the excess and kind of go in with a brush and brush off the gold sections just to make sure you don't have any um, extra black in there, okay? Um, and then I went ahead and pre-mixed 30 milliliters of um, counterculture DIY medium viscosity resin. Um, I just started using this stuff and I do really like it. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to continue to use it, but I do like it. So um, I also let this sit for about five minutes. Um, you can see all the bubbles there up at the top. That's what you want. And then I have a little bit of that Netflix and Chill Chunky Red um, ready to go in a medicine cup. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that here in a minute. So with a gloved finger, we're going to go over the top part first. We'll go ahead and move on into the red. Okay, so once we've got that, you're gonna remove one of your gloves and then take this uh, little bit of red chunky Netflix and chill and kind of extend your ombre a little bit into this part here. This is optional if you want you know, if you want to forego this part, but I just think it looks nice kind of going over the spots a little bit. That way it looks like this red glitter is like cascading over the leopard print. All right, and then if you see any spots where you kind of got a little too crazy, you can kind of just get one of your tools and move the glitter a little bit while you have the opportunity. If you, you know, got too much in one spot. All right, and that's it. So we're gonna let this roll for a second and then I'm gonna hit it with the torch and then we'll be done for now. And then you're gonna wait six hours um, for this to cure enough and then I go straight over it with the second coat. If after the second coat you notice that it's still really bumpy and requires a lot of sanding, then I go straight into a third coat and then I do sanding and the decal. So that makes it a little easier for me. Normally I wouldn't be using a torch but because we're using the counterculture, it's a little thicker than Illumilite, so it needs a torch. Well, this concludes our tutorial, and I will post um, finished photos of this once we're done. Um, for the decal on these, I usually do one red initial or one red name with a black offset. I think that looks really classy and nice with this design. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you're loving our channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe, hit that bell button so you don't miss any of our new videos. We do upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks for watching.
you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also, be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course, subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.